Okay, here we are. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. I have conquered Sonic 1, CD, and 2. Now, out of all the Ultimate Challenge videos, this and the and Knuckles portion, I dread to death. I mean, the levels are much longer than they are in any other Genesis Sonic game. So that is why I decided to split this video into two. So think of this as part four or five. This video will be covering the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 portion of the game. Anyways, let's get into it. Here is the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Ultimate Challenge. The rules! I will be using the Sonic Origins version of Sonic 3 because of the quality of life improvements. I have to update one rule, however, to make this challenge possible. And that is, no use of abilities. I am now COMPLETELY allowed to spin dash, but I still can't drop dash or use the insta shield. And you will find out in a few levels. And a new rule for this game, I can only use the shield power-ups as just shields. No bouncing or charging forward or double jumping. I can still utilize the infinite water time, fire resistance, and attract rings. No chaos emeralds, which hurts as always because I can't go supersonic. No partner, which means I can't use tails. And the sections where he tails is visible does not count. I have to use mirror mode. But now it's to the point where I'm used to mirror mode, where it's odd for me to go through the stages normally. No checkpoints, which is the third most painful thing in this challenge. The second most painful thing in this challenge is no killing bandits. If I kill an enemy in one hit and it gives me points and an animal drops, then it's an enemy kill. As always, bosses do not count. I can only use Sonic. And to compromise for the spin dash, and by far the most painful thing in this challenge, one so cruel, one so vile, one so evil. I could not show this to the thumbnail, and that monstrosity is... I am forced to listen to the Sonic Origins version of Carnival Night, Ice Cap, and Launch Base. It makes me cry every time I have to listen to them. So I will be mixing the much better versions of the prototype version and the Pop Kings version. Hold on. <laughs> eh, I tried. So you're welcome, ears. Now one more thing to address before we start. If I accidentally enter a bonus stage or a special stage, I have to get out immediately. But, they're okay. And now that we have the rules out of the way, let's go through Sonic's longest journey on the Sega Genesis. We start out our adventure about right after Sonic 2. Sonic and Tails are now heading to Angel Island to stop Dr. Robotnik from succeeding in his plans to put back together the Death Egg. For some reason, Sonic has all the Chaos Emeralds even though when we did not collect them in Sonic 2. And suddenly, Knuckles punches Sonic out of his super form somehow and takes the Emeralds. It's fine, we don't need them anyway. Angel Island Zone Act 1. Now this is a very easy level. The Badniks were in fair places, and it was a fun time. And then the mini boss said screw it and decided to turn the place into California. Now that the place is burning and Knuckles has no problem with that, the rest of the stage is not too bad. Just carefully traverse through the stage, and we make it to our first mini boss, and it was easy. Oh well.
in Joel Island Zone Act 2. Now the difficulty has buffed up, not to the point where I have to retry the stage over and over again, but it was challenging. Now you are pressured into using the spin dash, but that's not the main reason why I'm now allowed to use the spin dash. There are more platforming sections, which is not too bad until you realize that the Bannix exists. The lack of checkpoints still makes me cry, and you have to pray if you're falling in ball form. But like the previous act, there's not too much to the zone. We encounter what I think is the flying battery, and we make it to the first Robotnik fight, and it was not too bad, and we beat this act. But unfortunately, Knuckles has to ruin our day, and sends us to... Okay, this is the moment most of you have been waiting for. Me pronouncing the water level from Sonic 3. It's freaking Hydro City! It's not Hydrocity, it's Hydro City. Hell, most of the voters agreed that this is the way to pronounce Hydro City. It is a literal city full of water. Okay. Hydro City Zone Act 1. Now this zone is basically a sudden difficulty spike. The part with the poles are not too bad, however it starts getting challenging once you go to the bottom route. You will find out that you can't get past it because you have to kill one of the badniks to get across. So take the high route instead, and even then, this path is difficult. Be careful when jumping from here, because no one wants to hit a badnik. Make sure to grab a bubble shield, because the next few parts will take place underwater, and it's painful. These chomper badniks can go kiss my ass. You have to carefully traverse the conveyor belt, and if you lose the bubble shield, you might drown in the next part. Once down the tube, after you hit the second spring to avoid this bannock and the pufferfish bannocks, then carefully charge a spin dash and carefully go to the conveyor belt and avoid the pufferfish, and if you need to, gulp up a bubble while you're at it. Then just have to avoid two more badniks, and finally, you are at the boss, and thankfully, it's pretty simple. And that is the first act of Hydro City Cleared. Hydro City Zone Act 2. Now here, you are required to use the spin dash. You can't gain any speed underwater, and that is why I'm completely allowing the spin dash for this game and the and knuckles portion. So after avoiding this wall, you have to use the scariest platform in this level. These cylinder looking platforms. And they can crush you. Although in terms of badniks, this one is not as bad as the first, but still be careful. These sharks always screwed me up. So go down and once the first one is done, carefully move around the area. Avoid these crabs and spin dash down this loop, and don't worry about the slide sections. You will go flying out in ball form, but you will always have a way to avoid a bad nick, so it's not too bad. This motor crab part with the cylinder scared me, but be careful and you will make it to running on water section number one. After a little bit, you'll have to be a little careful on this slide and go up the square platforms carefully and once you make it to the bridge section you are almost there take a few more cylinder platforms take another water running slide and knuckles will troll us again and we make it to this zone's robotnik boss and it's not too hard hit robotnik a few times and this zone will finally be over hope the next zone is not a maze Marvel Garden Zone Act 1. Somehow, Marvel Garden is not so much of a maze as it used to be to me. Surprising because it's mirror mode of all things. The spin dash is required to get this wheel moving, and this spike bandit is 
ugly helpful in the zone. You can bounce on them, so it makes it like a weak spring. The spike ball chain sucks. This top spinner thing is weird but helpful. It thankfully stops you when you hit a Badnik and does not automatically kill the Badnik. This spike pillar is alright, and overall, this level is easier than expected. It is surprising considering my previous experiences. And the mini boss is easy as always, and yet, that is another act cleared. Marble Garden Zone Act 2. Now, immediately, you have to spin dash to use these pull things. And Robotnik appears to destroy the terrain, and we make it to the higher path, and it's not too different from the lower path. You still have to use these top things, and it's annoying to traverse with a thing. The Badniks were easy to dodge, and we meet the most reliable Badniks in this challenge, the Grasshoppers. The Grasshoppers just let Sonic by, which is very nice of them, considering how much pain I'm going through with this challenge. Spin on the wheels, go down the corkscrew, go platform while avoiding the spike badniks. And these statues don't count as a badnik because they don't die in one hit and they don't get points nor an animal so it does not count. We make it to another robotic encounter and we quickly make it through the platforms. If they crush you, you have to restart the stage and it's not fun. Avoid some more badniks, and we make it to the Robotnik fight. And Tails assists us, and no, this does not count as using a partner. And we defeat Robotnik, and th that is another boss cleared. And thus, we completed Marvel Garden. Let's head to the next zone. Oh gosh! Ah! What is this music? <laughs> Got it. <coughs> Hold <coughs> it in. <coughs> I'm gonna play the better music for you guys. You're welcome. Carnival Night Zone Act 1. Now, immediately, this level is another bumper chaos level. It's not too bad, other than hearing the Origins version of the music. These bats are very annoying, they just do not care. They do whatever they want, and who put these springs here? Damage boosting helps in the stage, considering there are a lot of risks involved. There are these scrap brain wheels, and a few more bumpers here and there. This spike enemy can easily be avoided, and- uh oh, what am I gonna do? Okay, that is the one thing this Badnik does right. And we have already made it to the boss, and after easily killing it, Act 1 is cleared. Carnival Night Zone Act 2 now, at this point, every Sonic 3 stage that has an Act 2 has to be slightly a water level, or have water present. After accidentally going through a bonus stage, this tube made me realize I was going the wrong way, shoot out of a cannon, these laser badniks are not fun to deal with, and the bat badniks suck, as always, and we get launched by bumpers, and- OH NO! KNUCKLES! DON'T! Wait, he just turned off the lights. It shouldn't be that crap. He also raised the water level. Oh, hey, a barrel. Hope that does not cause problems later. After dealing with water, more badniks, and more obstacles, we finally turn back on the lights, and there's another required spin dash. After popping a few more balloons. Wait. No! It, it, it can't be! The Barrel of Doom! The Fabled Legend! Let me just jump in. Okay, how am I supposed to do this? Oh wait, I can't read Japanese. 
Dang, Europe, you have the most boring one of them all. Okay, North America, you're my last hope. Well, that was no help. Okay, maybe Google will help me. Wait, did they just use the D-pad? So after figuring out how to bypass the most impossible obstacle ever, we have to avoid a few more bat panics, and we make it to... <sighs> Knuckles. He sends us to the boss, and the Robotnik fight was obviously... Obviously not that hard, and that is another zone cleared. We launched out of the cannon, and now we're on to the next zone. Ice Cap Zone Act 1! Jeez, they really massacred this zone's music too. This zone starts off with Sonic snowboarding, and while it has nothing to do with the gameplay, it does look cool. After another required spin dash, I accidentally fell and hit the special stage ring, and I exited out immediately. The crushing platforms in the zone are a bit scary. The penguin badniks were annoying, but not to the point where I want to rip my hair out. This section was a bit annoying, because I had a skill issue. After a few more times, I finally made it up. And one sliding section later, and we're already at the mini boss. And that is another act one cleared. Ice Cap Zone Act 2 Now this act was mildly harder than the previous act. You have to avoid the spike ball enemies that have been appearing since the last Sonic games. The frozen block sucks. The penguin bandits were hard. The icicle platforms were tedious. These launch up springs are simple to use. Just don't accidentally fall off and hit a bad nick, because that is what happened to me. And we are already at the Robotnik fight. And after being frozen a few more times, we beat the zone, and now it's time to move on to the final zone of the game. Launch Base Zone Act 1! Let me complain about the Origins version of the music one more time. It sucks. And here we go. We are finally at the final level. And in terms of difficulty, this does not disappoint. The frogs will be one of my biggest enemies in this level. Zip lines are fun. The platform thing is there and I know this is not 2020 anymore and it's cringe now, but I have to say it. I made this. Apparently these lasers have animals inside of them. I have no idea how that works, but oh well. Damage boosting in this level is your best bet on getting anywhere. After a slow slope, we make it to some spikes with some more spikes. A troll spring, a crusher which is not too bad, and although you can curl up into a ball whenever you go through these pine looking things, you don't hit anything, which thank gosh, I do not want to have to deal with that. And we meet my biggest enemy in this challenge, these birds. I want to show them my version of the bird because <laughs> them. They swoop in whenever they want, and in this act, they're not too much of a threat. But in the next act, they are something different. In this act, they can be completely avoided, which, thank gosh. After a few more minutes of painful badniks and traps, we see Robotnik carrying a box. Wonder what that is. And Knuckles becomes a terrorist. And Robotnik reveals that the box was... Whatever this thing is. And as a final mini boss, it's really not that hard. And that is the second to final act complete. Launch Base Zone Act 2. Here we are. 
the final level in the Sonic 3 portion of the game. This level does not disappoint in difficulty. To start, you go down the spinning platform, and if you want to succeed, you are going to have to follow these steps very carefully. Carefully pace down the frog, go onto the spring, avoid the stupid bird, and make sure not to be in ball form or else you will hit the bird. Jump above the spinning platform and keep running. Avoid the laser badnik, spin dash under the frog, onto the zip line, destroy the pillar, damage boost from the frog, and avoid the flames. Destroy the uh, mogus looking thing. Keep on running, go underwater, spin dash. Now this part, I mess up the most. Avoid the birds and carefully spin dash and jump onto the spring. Make sure the birds are not in your way because if you go to the pipe, and you are in ball form, you will kill them. Jump to damage boost from the frog because you can't jump above it and you can't jump below it. Avoid uh, some lasers, do some platforming and avoid the frogs and the birds, go underwater. Once again, damage boost from the frog to get by. Use the final zip line, carefully move around the spike, avoid the frogs and the birds, go up the left, and there you go. You are now at the boss. Robotnik throws these spears at you, and it's really easy to hit him. And once that is cleared, Sonic will go to Robotnik's ship, and Knuckles will troll us again, and the Death Egg finally launches once again, and Knuckles just falls. I wanted to fight him, but oh well. And now we are at the second phase. And... Well, that was easy for a final boss. I hope there isn't another- Oh yeah! Big arms! Here we are. The final phase. The final fight in this game. This will be one of the epicest ones so far. And it is decently hard. And... Well, at least it was challenging. And with that, the Death Egg falls apart. Once again, and we just beat the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 portion of the game, and Sonic just falls, and the Death Egg falls down to Lava Reef. And that is the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Ultimate Challenge. Now that we have completed Sonic 3, it is time to answer the question, can you beat the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Ultimate Challenge. Yes! This is the game I recommend the least with this challenge, along Sonic CD. Although it was fun, Sonic 3's levels are much longer than 2-5 to five minutes, and having no checkpoints is a huge factor for this pain. Anyways, thank you so much for all the support from the last Sonic videos. And I will release the Sonic and Knuckles Ultimate Challenge video soon. Probably not next month soon, but soon. One thing I want to mention is the two-player mode in this game is not as fun as it is in Sonic 2 with this challenge. No one asked about it, but oh well. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next month. Do 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 do